When you think of dog sledding, you probably think Alaska, Canada, not necessarily Utah. But you can find dog teams here and drivers who will take you for a ride as Jody Salen did a few days ago. <laughs> Just another day for the Posatch snow dogs in the Wasatch Mountains, and they love it. Neil Bolin has been running private tours for years with two different breeds, the Alaskan Malamute. It's a, a little bit a bigger dog, broader, um, slower, but designed to freight. And they can carry, you know, all kinds of weight for long distances, but at a slower speed. And the Alaskan Husky, which is a crossbreed of many dogs. And it's most popularly a cross between some type of hound, greyhound or bloodhound, and Siberian Husky and Pointer and their bread is just to go fast. There are three jobs on a dog sled team. The lead dogs are the steering wheels and do the turning. If we want to turn right, we say G. If we want to turn left, we say Ha. If we want to go, we say Hike. The team dogs in the middle keep the cadence going, and the wheel dogs are the strongest in the back and keep a steady momentum. There's a new litter of pups that got out with us for the first time. You see little Ira here and you think, I want to get one of those, they're so cute. But before you do, you need to know they're a lot of work. The northern breeds, the Malamute, the Husky, they're one of the most popular breeds in animal shelters today, and it's because people just don't understand the genetic requirement to exert energy. But with the proper training, leaders emerge. To be a leader, you have to be forward-oriented, meaning, you know, you never look back. Um, if you see a dog that keeps looking back, it means that they're unsure. They don't really want to be up front. They'd rather just be behind the dogs. Once we meet the dogs and give nice them a rub down. And tell them he's a real good dog. Can you say good boy, Tank? The excitement begins, and the dogs know this is what they're trained to do. And with Neil's communication with his dogs, it's a lifestyle he loves. But then you get up here at 10,000 feet, and you see the beauty and the nature that we're able to, 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 to enjoy, and it's, it's worth it. Jody Saland, KSL News.